Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for second half of November. So November 15th through the 30th. What do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Aquarius for the end of November? One more card, please. Take that one. Wreath. Sorrow over a loss. That could be any kind of loss. Okay. Dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man. So, there is some sort of financial gain coming. There is sorrow over a loss, but this loss could be any kind of loss. You could be dealing with a lot younger man that is is winning something. They're winning, okay? They're they're it's your loss, whatever that means. They win. They take something from you. They take the win, they take something from you. I don't know what it is. But you're going to gain something financially by the looks of things. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. Now, that could be even losing a friendship. It could be Knight of Swords reversed. No, the Knight of Swords reversed is typically out of control. It's an out of control energy. Um, dangerous situation, perhaps. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but the Knight of Swords reversed can be danger. Just want to get one more over here. Ooh. Yikes. So this is why, why, why is this happening? It feels like there's some sort of, well, there's definitely a loss. I'm not sure. And it is a younger person. It is a younger person. So, and it, it doesn't mean that, uh, you know, it's a physical loss. It could be a loss of a friendship. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that doesn't have integrity. This person is a liar. They could be a thief, you know, um, lazy a thief. I feel like you may you may discover that you're dealing with somebody that is some sort of thief. Now we got you here, which is your energy, Aquarius. Why? Why? You know, being in a state of despair, can't believe this is happening. Disbelief. So this may be a state of shock. You may be in a state of shock over a situation um, because this is like a state of shock right here, and this is disbelief. This comes after the Tower card. You know, the tower is a shock. So I feel like you, you may be in a state of shock over a loss of somebody that, you know, um, lacks integrity. It could be a friend. I'm not sure. It could even be a, you know, it's definitely somebody that is emotionally immature. This person is childish, doesn't follow through with plans, uh, is foolish. This is a slacker, um, doesn't want responsibility may steal. I feel like you're dealing with a freaking thief. I don't know why I want to keep saying that, but I do. Um, and I feel like it's somebody that you know. Somebody that you thought was your friend. You know? Somebody you thought you could trust. You may have somebody around you that is looking for a fight. Now, these readings can always go vice versa. Just so you know, roles could be reversed. This this Knight of Swords reverse is a blamer. Okay, somebody that blames everybody. This is explosive energy. Somebody looking for a fight, not practical. So I feel like it's gonna be you're gonna be dealing with some turbulence. I feel like you're you're you may be feeling like um, I don't know. This could be depressed. I mean, the Star card be depressed. I mean, in reversed. 
This is where fear takes over. And this is where fear takes over as well. So there, there could be some sort of fear here. Fear of going down a new path. And that, you know, let me change the story a little bit. You may have an opportunity that has been given to you. And you're so scared of it that you don't take it and you lose the opportunity. Okay, so that's another whole scenario right here because this is a golden opportunity that is being lost and that could be the sadness and regret for not following through or not taking the opportunity. You could, you know, you could end up upset over not taking an opportunity. Okay, and there's, there's both of these cards represent fear in reversed. You know, fear of taking a new approach, fear of what could happen, fear of trying something new, fear, you know. So if that's the case, then yeah, you may be sad that you didn't take an opportunity when you should have. So that could certainly be the case. There is an opportunity for financial gain here. I think you're going to have to make a choice. Um, hmm. Yes, this is definitely a financial loss. There's some sort of financial loss here. There is. And I feel like it's because there was a definite fear, 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 or lack of determination, lack of willpower, lack of strength, feeling hopeless, self-doubt. You know, there may have been some doubts. You may have been doubting a uh, connection or doubting the opportunity. Therefore, now you're, you're going to lose the opportunity. And that's probably where your sorrow comes from. Um, the chariot is angry in reversed, okay? So there could be some anger, okay? Emotions could be all over the place. There could even be, I don't know if there's going to be an accident, okay? I know I'm changing the story again, but with both of these cards right together, th something, something could get out of control, okay? This is out of control. This is a vehicle, okay? There could be, there could, you know, somebody could be driving too fast, you know, and... You know, there's an accident, and I, I hope that is not the case, but um, this is a need to stop, a need to uh, slow down for sure. Somebody really needs to slow down. There's there's definitely, uh, well, there's an absence of success here There's because all these cards are reversed, and no, my deck is not reversed, all right? There's an absence of success. There's an absence of victory, and I think it's because of fear. There's a lot of fear here. Fear, 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 fear. So there's fear. There's fear of expanding, fear of trying something new, fear of doing something you've never done before. So therefore, you're going to lose a big, huge opportunity that could really pay off for you. You need to, and this, there's, this, this, this opportunity is coming from a younger man, okay? You need to take the opportunity or take a chance. It's like you don't want to take a chance. So if you don't take a chance, well, you're going to lose. And then you're going to be sad about it. I definitely see sadness. I do. Um, you're probably going to be like, uh, I can't. I feel like your faith has been tested and you're not listening. You're not, you're not, you know, where is your faith? Do you even, you need to have some faith here, you know, um, Feeling inadequate, feeling not good enough, feeling like you can't do it. You can do it. You can do it. But this, if you feel like you can't do it, well, then you're going to, then, you know, your thoughts become things and you fail and then you have a loss. Anyhow, um, this chariot reverse, this is um, lack of discipline. There could be some emotions that are all over the place. Um, lack of direction. Uh, something could also be coming to a stop. You know, there could there could be a stop. And it feels like there could be a stop sign. So I'm hoping nobody runs a stop sign. I just saw a stop sign, and and maybe it's just for me to tell you to stop. Whatever it is, stop, stop. Um, somebody could even be getting unemployed. You know, or not taking a job or the the offer is being given to somebody else. And it's because there's a lack of faith. There's a lack of the ability to take it. It's like I'm not, if you, if you, you can't keep procrastinating forever. Somebody's been procrastinating or they didn't put in effort or something like that. Now they're losing the, I feel like this is financial, the job they're, or they're, yeah, they're losing the job. Or they're losing the 
opportunity, you know. Um, now they're going to be staying put. This is stuck, okay. Now they're not going to be able to go, you know, where they thought they were going to be able to go. So there could be some upcoming delays. There's upcoming delays because of procrastination. We have somebody here that is procrastinating very, very, very much. You need to stop procrastinating. Um, let go of fear, too. Fear is huge, huge. Um, I feel like there's, there's low self-confidence here. And you may be feeling inadequate. Maybe you don't believe in yourself and you need to. You need to believe in yourself. You have an opportunity that you are, it's like you're throwing it away. And I don't understand why. It's like, I don't know why. Because of fear. Feeling not good enough. You are good enough. You're good enough. Do you want to lose this opportunity because of your own insecurities? Fear has definitely taken over. Now, when you get to Six of Pentacles reversed, that's an abuse of power or an injustice or a theft. You know, I feel like there's some so, some some sort sort of theft here as well, and you may be in disbelief, which I already said. So yeah, I feel like you you're dealing. Maybe somebody's just stealing your stealing your job, or they're stealing your money, or they're stealing your whatever it is that you create. You're got you're going to be dealing with a, a thief this month. Okay, but at the end of the month, just saying. And maybe they're after your money. They're after your, their gain. They're after your financial gain. So I think that you're going to be uh, needing to uh, find your strength to... Uh, take action in some way. You've got to take action. You really, really do. Maybe you need to get the, the, the law involved. Um, Ace of Wands. Now that's a, that is just do it. Just go for it. That's a new vision. Take action. A new exciting opportunity is right in your hand. You're going to be getting an exciting opportunity. Take it. Or somebody else will and you will lose the opportunity. This is a new vision, a new exciting, new ambition, new desire, new drive. Queen of Pentacles reverse. I don't I don't know if you're dealing with a, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. This person is very greedy, very selfish, very controlling, very egotistical. Underneath that, could be dealing with a Leo as well. So you have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you have Leo, you have Cancer. You have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. But I feel like you are dealing, you got somebody here that is very greedy, very, very selfish, very much focused on money. And you may see it, but there's ignorance here. I feel like somebody is ignoring it. Somebody you're dealing with has a wandering eye. And you may, you may be choosing not to see it. There is a wandering eye here. It almost feels like you're dealing with somebody who is, I don't know, what I, what I, want, what I, what I want to say is sexting. You know, sexting with somebody else. You could be dealing with an earth sign that is dealing with a, with a Leo. Whoever, and, it, and that's just a, I don't know where that came from, or an air sign. But I feel like you're not getting what you deserve. I feel like this is an injustice. I feel like you've been missing it. I feel like you've uh, been probably choosing not to see it or something like that. But I feel like there's going to be, there's going to be some sort of shock. I do feel like there's going to be a shock that, you know... shows you something whoever you're dealing with there's a younger man involved um things are gonna come to a dead stop there could be an angry outburst this there could be an outburst absolutely 
you're going to see something. You're going to see something. Maybe on somebody's phone that shows you something, you know. Anyhow, I feel like this at the end of these two weeks that you you may be letting go. You may be letting go of somebody. Um, this is definitely uh, oh, it looks like it's going to be a chaotic week. I just got to be honest with you. I think that there's going to be some sort of outburst, there's disaster ahead, and I'm sorry, I don't I mean to say that. But when the Knight of Swords reversed and the Chariot reversed, that's that's like a shock, okay? It's like a um, go. <laughs> what I just heard was, do not go, do not pass go, go directly to jail. <laughs> I don't know what that means for you, but that's what just came into my head. It's like uh, this is this is. I mean, the Six of Pentacles reverse is 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 firing. You know, this is a fraud. Okay, there's been some sort of injustice, inequality. Uh, somebody may have abused their power with you, and, and now it's time for you to, you know, go after what you deserve. So I feel like this, I feel like at the end of these two weeks, you're, you may be feeling hopeless. You may be feeling, you may be asking yourself, why is this happening? Why, 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 why? Um, it's everything does happen for a reason. Perhaps you are meant to go down a new path and you've been resisting it. And I can see that you've meant to go down a new path because that page of pentacles is here. But there's somebody that is holding you back with that queen of pentacles reversed. This person has complete control over you with the strength reversed. This person enjoys the control they have over you. This is an individual that does have a big ego. This person um, may be sexy in some way, sensual, but, you know, they have an ulterior motive. And I feel like you're about to figure out exactly what this is. I don't know if there's been some cheating. Somebody could be getting caught. So, anyhow... Get prepared to see something. Either you or your partner, so this could go vice versa, is going to see something that makes them very, very angry and upset. That's what I got. Good luck.